Steve Ferreira doesn't like to take no for an answer. No. He's a top-level athlete and an advocate for people with disabilities. Uh, every child should live in a world where they feel love. Now, with the help of some students and their teacher, Creed Nelson, Steve has also become a bit of an inventor. This should be fun. He was born with cerebral palsy, a condition that makes it difficult to move and speak. There you go. But he communicates just fine with the manufacturing and design students here at Renton's Lindbergh High. What other idea, Steve? He comes in and within five minutes, he's won over the whole class. Yeah! They absolutely love this guy. Steve's a pretty cool dude. Does that feel Yay! pretty good? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so seeing that we're actually helping someone, it puts a lot more passion into our work. Together, they're creating prototypes of fitness equipment that can be used by people of every type of ability. It's kind of ridiculous that gyms these days don't have any accessible equipment. Despite the medals he's earned in para-athletics, Steve has felt the burn of ignorance at the gym. The employee said to me, why are you here? You're in a wheelchair. Wow. People with disabilities can work out my wheelchair is just how I get around. It doesn't define me for who I am. What the left side look like versus the right side. To advance the cause of accessible fitness, he's also working with engineering students at the University of California, Santa Barbara to create adaptable machines that can be used for modified or conventional workouts. What is currently available on an exercise machine that exists in a typical gym right now? And how would we modify that? Yeah. Steve's dream is that one day soon, people with disabilities will be able to exercise side by side with everyone else. Try to do this for gyms that can be able to use this throughout the country. And he's not planning to take no for an answer. This is how I live my life. I may not be perfect, but I can still be like you.